draft video for today. It's with the draft lottery. I've already done the Thunder and the Magic. Now we'll do the Rockets. Just I felt like we should knock out the top three, and I did mock draft. So four draft videos, videos, draft day videos for me. I couldn't speak. So let's talk about it. The Rockets aren't happy. They fell. They fell hard. Okay. They fell hard. Two. Okay, they were hoping to get Jabari Smith, but let's go for it, okay? The Magic get number one. Yeah, I am so happy. But look, let's talk about it. I think, I know the, the Rockets are definitely sad as all hell. Because they were expecting to have themselves, you know, the third pick. And there's some level of disappointment because, you know, they wanted to have the first pick. But they're going to have to choose between, in my opinion... They're going to have to choose between Chet Holmgren, Jaden Ivey, and Shade on Sharp. Because I think Jabari Smith and Paul Van Carroll will be the top two picks. And let's talk about it. So right now, I have them going Chet Holmgren with the third pick. I don't I have third Chet Holmgren going third overall. A lot of people are going to say, nah. Chet Holmgren, according to Kevin O'Connor, is a Gen Z Paul Gasol mixed with a Rudy Gobert. I'm just scared with him. Yes, he's an ambidextric shot blocker who has great coordination. He's 7 feet tall, 195 pounds. He has a similar body to Poku, who plays for the Oklahoma City Thunder. But he is the best player available at this point in the draft. The Rockets also do have another first round pick. And with that being said, their other first round pick is the 17th pick in this year's draft, which I have them drafting Malachi Branham. So at 17, they go and get Malachi Branham. But at third overall, it's Chet Holmgren. Malachi Branham will fit at perfectly at small forward with KPJ and Jalen Green set there. And that power forward, you could argue, you could argue that you could put Chet Holmgren there and run, you know, either Garuba or Shibun out there, or you could run Holmgren and then Wood at, you know, the four. But I'm talking about in the future. But I think Chet Holmgren, him being this massive shot blocker with guard-like skills on offense as a passer and shooter, he averaged 14 points, shooting 41% from three, almost 10 rebounds, and three and a half blocks a game with one steal. And yes, I know he shot 41% on 97 30-pointers attempted, but his true shooting percentage was 70%. And look, I the weakness with him is he's a skinny frame, and it's going to hurt him as a post defender. Smaller guys are able to back him down. He needs to get much stronger if he wants to battle Joel and be Nicole Jokic. And the lack of strength affects his, his ability to handle contact when driving or finishing at the rim. And though Holmgren has coordination, he still needs to tighten even more because players his size are susceptible of getting stripped. And again, I like him. I like him. I think he's going to be... Like I like, I think he could develop into a similar players, Christoph Porzingis, like a poor man's Christoph Porzingis. I'm just scared. We're seeing what's going on with Poku and Poku struggling with his skinniness. And I'm not saying that Chet Holmgren. I think Chet Holmgren is a power forward. I don't think he's a center. I think he's a power forward. I think he's gonna have success in the NBA. As this is a guy who he minimizes errors on offense and he relies on smart plays. And he isn't a flashy playmaker, but his size, skill, and vision find cutters over the top of the defense. And he's a very good cutter himself as he's on half courts. He knows how to run down the passing lanes and he relies, you know, on running those passing lanes to catch, you know, a, a, a ball when he's cutting. So I think Chet Holmgren is definitely someone that they're going to have to take. And I think Paulo Bancaro and Bar Smith will be the top two picks with Chet Holmgren being the third guy and you take the best pick available here. I don't think they'll take Shade on Sharp or Jaden Ivey just because Shade and Sharp, yeah, it could be their small forward. But like I said, Malachi Branham is going to be available at 17. Wouldn't you rather just take Malachi Branham there and take Chet Holmgren here? Even though at this point, I don't think Chet Holmgren's as risky as the first or second pick at third of all. I think Chet Holmgren's a good value and he could develop into a Christoph Porzingis player. I am a very much big fan of his. I just... There is a risk when you're taking a guy like as skinny as Chet, but yeah, that's basically it for me, guys. I hope you guys do enjoy this. Like and subscribe. Do all that good jazz. I'm done. I've actually been in a closet this whole time. I just realized if you guys saw me like talking like this, my last video, it's just because like I'm like hanging on this bar. But yeah, this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'm sitting here in a closet. You can't even tell.
I can barely tell it's a closet. You know it's a closet now that because I just told you. Oh, so what if I, what if I had set this up this whole time like this? Maybe that's better. Maybe that is better. Right, look at that. Look at that. We're at the end of the video, so I hope you guys did enjoy this. I'm in my closet right here, enjoying myself. So I'm gonna get out. I'm, I'm gonna come out the closet now. I had to make that joke at this point.